Greenland is the world's largest island, so why do almost no people live there? Here's the surprising truth about this icy giant. Greenland. On the map, it looks massive, almost the size of Africa. But here's what's wild. Over 80% of it is uninhabited. In fact, it's home to just 56,000 people. That's fewer than most small towns. So, why is the world's largest island basically empty? The answer, ice, geography, climate, and history. First, let's talk size. Greenland covers over 2.1 million square kilometers, but most of that isn't land you can live on. It's covered by a massive ice sheet, up to 3 kilometers thick in some places. That ice makes up about 80% of the island, you can't farm it, you can't build cities on it, and traveling across it is nearly impossible. Now, add in the climate. Greenland is Arctic tundra. Temperatures can drop to minus 50 degrees Celsius. There's only a few months of mild weather each year. Most of the time, it's just cold, dark, and frozen. And what about the small part of Greenland that isn't under ice? That's where all the people live, tiny coastal towns scattered along the southwest edge. Why there? Because that's where the climate is slightly more forgiving, and where the sea provides food and transportation. But even there, life is tough. There are no roads between towns. Most travel happens by boat, snowmobile, or aircraft. And with limited infrastructure, healthcare, and education, many young people leave for Denmark or other countries. Speaking of Denmark, did you know Greenland is part of the Kingdom of Denmark? It has home rule but Denmark still handles things like defense and foreign policy. Over time, Greenland's population has stayed low because it never had a large indigenous population boom, no farming economy, and no easy access for colonizers or large migrations. Today, Greenland faces a new twist, climate change. The ice is melting, and that's revealing valuable minerals, new shipping routes, and land that could one day be habitable. Some call Greenland the last frontier of development, but others fear what that change could mean for the planet. So, yes, Greenland is huge. But until now nature made it nearly impossible to fill. Would you live in Greenland if it became warmer? Or should it stay wild and untouched? Like follow and share for more surprising truths about the world around you.